Hello and welcome to another Watch Report video review. My name is James Stacy, and today we're taking a look at the TW Steel TW622 uh, from the Icon lineup. So what we get with the TW622 is the uh, Miyota 2415 quartz movement. It's 45 millimeters across. 15 millimeters tall. It has a mineral crystal. It's water resistant to 50 meters because this is not a screw down crown. It comes with this black leather strap. That's kind of the aviator studs. It's a buffalo style kind of breetling looking strap. It's available in a 50 millimeter size as well that comes in a white with black text if that's how you would like it. Uh, this sells directly from TW Steel or any authorized retailer for about 225 US dollars. So what we have here is kind of a, the TW Steel's entry range. You get a nice uh, quartz, uh, casual style watch. Uh, it's quite large at 45 across, not including this rather large crown. Um, but this is more or less the design uh, aesthetic of the standard TW Steel. The oversized numerals, um, a very small bezel, so you get mostly dial. You get a nice large date window, and you get your oversized crown. Points I really like about this watch, it has um, a very nice finish. Uh, it's been finished well, the steel is very nice. The, these uh, short lugs are pretty cool. It's about the same size as my uh, Ocean 7 LM2, which we reviewed a couple years ago. But the lugs are much shorter so that you don't have this gap between the strap and the case, uh, which is quite nice and would make this watch compatible with a number of straps if you decided you didn't like the uh, aviator style. Um, what we do have in this is uh, luminous paint on the, dial, or on the uh, numerals and the hands. In a moment I can show you what that looks like. Uh, we would have liked to have seen a sapphire crystal on this, although it's cost prohibitive, so we understand that uh, TW Steel uh, did that to save some cost. Around back we find kind of a standard uh, screw-on case back with some information about the watch. Uh, the quartz movement is simple enough to use. Uh, it's a two-pole system, so you have first pole is date, second is time. Um, it's about as straightforward as any, uh, any of the watches come. Um, you get a signed buckle. And now what we'll do is we're going to charge the watch for 30 seconds under a 25 watt halogen. And uh, I'll show you the loom uh, of the paint. Okay, so here we are after uh, 30 seconds under the halogen. We'll shut off the uh, lights here. And here you'll see uh, with just a faint light in the room to give you uh, some case detail. This is the kind of glow that you can expect from the TW Steel. It's not bright like a Seiko and it doesn't last... Uh, more than about an hour to maybe two hours. I found it did okay through a movie, uh, but really didn't last the night like some Seikos can where you, you wake up at three or four in the morning and it's still glowing brightly. What we'll do now is just take a look at a wrist shot. Okay, and here it is on wrist, the TW622 Icon. As you can see, it wears quite large. I have a 7.5 inch wrist. Um, it, it has the, the lugs do keep it fairly close to the wrist so that the case back is not perfectly flat. Um, it's a nice watch, I would say it pairs up best with jeans or a casual, uh, you know, a casual style, uh, especially with this strap. You could put on something a little cleaner, a little, uh, you know, without the texture or the, uh, the studs, and it, it might, uh, you know, transfer into a more dressy outfit. For Watch Report, my name is James Stacy, and this is the video review for the TW Steel TW622 Icon. And you can find it direct through TW Steel or from any of their retailers for $225. Thanks very much for watching.